Good morning and welcome to St. Patrick's. We ask that everyone turn off their cell phones or other personal devices at this time. Hey, and please get a little closer. Oh. We ask that everyone stand and face the baptismal fount for the sprinkling rite and processional. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is truly risen. His grace and peace be with you all. Amen. Throughout the Easter season, we'll gather the baptismal font to remember the, the differing dates that we were baptized, but the promise that Jesus gives us that the Spirit will be awakened within us, especially through this Easter, Easter season, and show the divine mercy that we celebrate this Sunday. So, let us pray. O oh God, in your mercy, be present to your people's prayers. And for us, we recall the wondrous work of our creation and the still greater work of our redemption. Graciously bless this water. For you created water to make the fields fruitful and to refresh and cleanse our bodies. You also made water the instrument of your mercy. For through water, you freed your people from slavery and quenched their thirst in the desert. Through water, the prophets proclaimed the new covenant you were to enter upon with the human race. And last of all, through water, which Christ made holy in the Jordan, you have renewed our corrupted nature in the bath of regeneration. Therefore, may this water be for us a memorial of the baptism we have all celebrated, and grant that we may share in the joy of our sisters and brothers who at Easter have received their baptism. Grant this, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
almighty God, who has cleansed us of our sins and given us a new birth in the saving waters of baptism, make us fit for the banquet table of the heavenly kingdom. Amen. Amen. everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Easter feast kindle the faith of your people you have made your own. Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp in what thought they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Many signs and wonders were done among the peoples through the apostles, and the believers were all together in Solomon's portico. None of the rest dared to join them, but the people held them in high esteem. Yet more than ever, believers were added to the Lord. Great numbers of men and women, so that they even carried out the sick into the streets and laid them on cots and mats. 
in order that Peter's shadow might fall on some of them as he came by. A great number of people would also gather from the towns around Jerusalem, bringing the sick and those tormented by unclean spirits. And they were all cured. The word of the Lord. of Israel say his mercy endures forever let the house of Aaron say his mercy endures forever let those who fear the Lord say his mercy endures forever Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. I was hard-pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. Let those who fear the Lord say, has become the cornerstone. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he... Verse 3. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, your brother, who share with you in Jesus the person.
persecution and the kingdom and the patient endurance was on the island called Patmos because of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and I heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet saying, write in a book what you see and send it to the seven churches. Then I turned to see whose voice it was that spoke to me. And on turning, I saw seven golden lampstands. And in the midst of the lampstands, I saw one like the Son of Man, clothed in a long robe and with a gold sash across his chest. When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. But he placed his right hand on me, saying, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last and the living one. I was dead, but see, I am alive forever and ever, and I have the keys of death and of Hades. Now, write what you have seen, what is and what is to take place after this. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. is listening. Speak your words of wisdom, for the words you speak are everlasting life. Alleluia, alleluia. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory to you o lord it was evening on the day jesus rose from the dead the first day of the week and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the authorities Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, we have seen the Lord. But he said to them, unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger in the mark of the nails 
and my hand in his side, I will not believe. After eight days, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Last Sunday, Easter Sunday, I spoke with you about sign language and how in sign language the word for Jesus is with the middle finger of one hand touching the palm and then doing the exact same with the other palm. teaches Jesus' name because even in his Easter glory he has the nail marks. And when we call upon the grace of the risen Christ we ask that his nail marks which have brought us freedom awaken in us the gift of the Spirit. Now, there was sign language in the reading that Sally proclaimed from the last book of the Bible. And it said this, Jesus touched me with his right hand and said, do not be afraid. I am the first and the last the one who lives. Once I was dead, but now I live forever. A sign language. Jesus touched John, the seer. Do not be afraid. And so, as we did last Sunday, and we'll do each of the Sundays of the 50 days of Easter, we will begin the Eucharist with the sprinkling of the consecrated water to remind us no matter when it happened, what was promised in our baptism, and that we don't get depleted of the gifts. And in this Easter time, to awaken those gifts that Jesus can send us out as we heard in the gospel. He breathed on them as the Father has sent me, so I send you. In the opening prayer at Mass, it was put so beautifully that all may grasp in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed.
this past Tuesday, a small group of us had the funeral service for Howard Gillespie. Well more than 20 years a part of St. Patrick's. Everybody called Howard Pops. And for those veterans, before the school was built, there was a basketball court, two benches, and most importantly, a water fountain. And Liam Pops loved that water fountain. And at nighttime, he spent the night on one of the benches, except for the more recent years on the front porch of the rectory. Last June, Pops was crossing Union Avenue and was hit, hit by a truck and killed instantly. For eight months, his body was in the city morgue and no one claimed him. So Pops was buried in the Shelby County Cemetery, the Pauper's Cemetery. A couple of years ago, Pops was having a very bad day. And after the 11 o'clock mass, I, I saw across the street the benches at FedEx Forum. And I went over and talked with him. And as soon as I sit down, Chris, he said, Father Val, you don't understand. You've got to have water. It was great when there was that water fountain at St. Patrick's but it's gone there and there are no water fountains anywhere and if you don't drink water, you're gonna die. Father, I gotta have water. At the end of the funeral, we poured a lot of holy water on Pop's grave. He loved water. And he taught me how important it is. So we'll have the sprinkling right. Because as Jesus says in one of the Gospels, the one whom God sent does not ration his gift to the Spirit. that Jesus does not ration the gift of his spirit. He doesn't give us just a little bit, whereas the apostles were given a lot. No, all of us are giving recklessly the spirit. And that's what Jesus is depending on. Amazing. Not just a little bit. But this Easter we celebrate that Jesus still breathes his spirit upon us, receive the Holy Spirit, and then do my mission. Yes, Jesus depends on us, and he still sends us out, having drunk freely of the water of his spirit.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Confident in the Easter victory, humbly we bring our prayers. Strengthen the faith of all consecrated in the saving waters of baptism and help us in our unbelief. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. On this Divine Mercy Sunday, inspire Pope Francis and all church ministers to be the face of God's mercy and love to the world. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Inspire your church to advocate for those who do not have protective shelter, adequate food and water, and basic health care. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Sustain the people of Ukraine in the midst of this unjust war be with their refugees as they seek safety. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. On this Divine Mercy Sunday, you call us to pray for our enemies. We pray then for Vladimir Putin and all who unleash violence in our world. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Deepen, O God, the gift of your spirit planted in us on our baptism and constantly renewed by your gift. Send us forth and beyond our fears, help us to show your son's presence in our world. Grant this through Christ the Lord. Amen. when our life 
of faith is done in realms of clearer light we may behold you as you are with full and endless sight we walk by faith and not by sight no gracious words we from him who spoke as none ear spoke, but we believe him near. We may not touch his hands inside, nor follow where he trod, but in his promise we rejoice and cry, my Lord, and That when our life of faith is done in realms of clearer light, we may behold you as you are with full and endless sight. We walk by faith and not by sight, so gracious words we from him who spoke as none ear spoke, but we believe him here. Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, may the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Accept, O oh God, we pray, the offerings of your people, that, renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day above all, to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death. And by rising we restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Oh, no. 
You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He is the word that brings salvation. He is the hand you stretch out to sinners. He is the way that leads to your peace. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. You have set us free. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy God, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope, David our Bishop, all the bishops, and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our sisters and brothers, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer to one another a sign of that peace.
all times. Praise shall always be on my lips. My soul shall glory in the Lord. For God has been so good to me. Oh, taste and see. Taste and see. The goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see. Taste and see. The goodness of the Lord of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us all praise God's name. I called the Lord who answered me from all my troubles I was set free. of the Lord, all you people. You want for nothing if you ask. Taste and see that the Lord is good. In God all our trust, oh, taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord.
Good afternoon, church. I'm Jan Kidder, and I'm also a member of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul at St. Patrick's. This fourth Sunday of April is the feast day of our founder, Blessed Frederick Ozanam. He organized a group of college friends to demonstrate Christian love and justice through direct action in the slums of Paris. So it's in his spirit of love and practical effectiveness that our parish group of Vincentians seeks to assist our neighbors in the 38126 zip code. Thanks to your generosity, we've been able to love effectively in this way. We've helped scores of neighbors who would otherwise fall through the cracks of larger social service agencies because they don't meet those organizations' particular requirements. Those could be age limits or loss of income due to COVID or minor children in the home and so on. Not everyone in genuine need crosses those T's and dots those I's. We've paid rent, utility, car repair bills, bought groceries, bought bus cards for these neighbors with your donations. And because our conference volunteers all of our time and effort, we have no overhead and every dollar you donate goes directly to someone who needs it. So we ask you to help us continue to show your love of neighbor in our neighborhood. We hope you'll be generous as you're able in our second collection. Thank you. I'm Sally Green, and this is my husband, Bob Green, and yesterday we celebrated our 33rd wedding anniversary. I'm Jamie O'Brien, and my birthday was April 5th. I'm George, and my birthday actually was yesterday, so April 23rd. I'm Marlene Keenan, and my birthday was April the 15th, or Good Friday this year. I am Katie Schmitz, and my birthday was the 21st. Scott and Lauren Reedy, and our 10th wedding anniversary was April 21st. 
I'm Maureen McArgle. My birthday was April 10th. Hi, I'm Deborah Fletrich. My daughter Leah, who's not with me today, turned 21 on April 5th. This is Lena, and her baptism day was yesterday. Uh, Brady Walsh and Jordan Greer, and we got engaged on Friday. Ryan and our fifth wedding anniversary was on the 22nd. Praise his triumph now. Alleluia. 